Hi and welcome back to Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run with your host, Body Pax Jr. So tired. We are exploring so very tired. Bart's stage at the moment, just racking up as many of the collectibles and coins as we can. So uh. we are in the set of Smart Line. Of course, this is where we most see Kent Brockman, right here. Bart's a little short, but there you go. Uh, if I'm here, Gash, Krusty coming soon. Gross. Um, but, if I didn't oh, play so many video games, God, my I'd be in better shape. Whoa. Really, I apologize for that. That was totally kind of awesome. Lunch. Um, yeah. If I didn't play so many video games, I'd be in better shape. So this is the second last level. If of I didn't game. play so many video games, Bart. I'd be in better shape. Shut up! Oh, wrong thing. I turned him up like two episodes ago. I turned him back down. I hate him. I'll just be very quiet when I'm talking to NPCs. Children weren't meant to get this much exercise. But anyway. Oh, shit. Yeah, this being second last level. This is where things kind of start to heat up in terms of difficulty. Time limits get very, very tight. And I don't know, it's just generally far more annoying of a game, so while to an extent that can be mitigated by having a really good car, I'm probably going to get really frustrated once I start doing actual missions on this level. So <clears throat> I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize in advance for any uncouth language I may use, because I'm pretty sure, now I don't remember it all too well, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get real mad. Ugh. So yeah, you know, I'll try to stay uh, chill out, Let's do some Zen chanting or something. Keep cool. But, uh, that's easier said than done, as always. Up we go. Is there any reason to go on that one? No. Nothing behind that curtain. No. Let's just drop down then. There's another wasp. Put it out of its waspy misery. Coins. So we've, we've cleared about 1100 coins on this stage so far. I spent 600 on the Hank Scorpio car. But he's my favorite Simpsons character. So. It's not even something from an episode, it's just a little care. I don't even care. Ugh. Most recently I've been playing Lego City on the cover on the Wii U. Which, like this, is an open world kind of driving explorer game. And like this, for some reason, has no background music when you're driving around. There's no radio or anything. And it's just the driest, most empty thing ever to do in my head. And there's so much to do in the game, but without that background music, I just feel creeped out driving around, so... I don't know. It was an oversight in the Traveler Tales uh, right there. When there is music in the game, it's great, too. Like, when you're in a, a proper mission, the background music is awesome. Not when you're driving around for whatever reason. So I'm looking to trade that in uh, as soon as I finished it. Uh, I was in GameStop today, and I just, just casually asked, you know, well, what would be trading value for Lego City? He looked it up. <laughs> it didn't have a trade in value. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it's been up for a couple of weeks now. But anyway, yeah. I guess that's a, a sign of the Wii U going from strength to strength. I'm not even interested in trade ins. Yeah. Oh, we give it time. <coughs> Nintendo, of course, are not going to. Doing a big conference at E3 this year. 
E3 will be about a month. I'm, I don't know, I was only looking forward to it before the Nintendo conference. I'll, I'll watch them all, and I'll be like, good about all of them. But we'll see. Maybe uh, Sony will blow my mind with a Final Fantasy VII Remake. But uh, I'm sure a Final Fantasy VII Remake would only make me mad anyway. So I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want from video games anymore, people. I'm not sick of them or anything. I, I can enjoy playing them. But I don't know, I don't get hyped for them really anymore. We'll see. We'll see if the new Smash Bros. can build my hype. That's really the only thing I think that could do it now. Oh well. Oh well. Let's grab these coins. And check out the observatory. Mm. All the same jokes as Lisa. Obeying the laws of thermodynamics. Teleporting a monkey. Teleporting a monkey back. Who's willing now? Hmm? <laughs> we just missed uh, Girls Can Be committing suicide, I think. Oh dear. And of course, the telescope. Which I'm not going to put that cutscene back in there. It's just the same as it was with Lisa. It's boring. Yeah. Whoa, Camp Krusty is our next destination, I think. Down here. Let's go carry up on the bridge again. Okay. Can't be too many wasps left now. I'm not going to check my progress just yet. Still two definite gags in front of me. I don't even know why that's a gag. It's just creepy. I know it's a Lord of the Flies reference. Does it make it less creepy? There we go. That's all the gags. Quite pleased with myself. <laughs> this is not a gag, it is a teleport, and I'm not using it because it's pointless and annoying. And away we go. I am going to jump out here, and I'm also going to save because I've just gotten paranoid about the game crashing. I don't know why, I just get these bad feelings. Expect a wasp down here to be honest, but whatever, I'll take it. Take his money. There's uh, another wasp, that'll be the last one. It is! Okay. Great. <laughs> that Buzz Cola carried on the bridge is the last one, and I'm quite pleased with our progress here. Not on the bridge, it's over the bridge, but whatever. The car's just over here. So let's hop back into it. And. There we go. <laughs> Damn, I'm still missing two? Okay, well, it does show up. <laughs> Not worried. Yeah. Let's complete the circuit and get back to uh, where our pool was. And then... Oh, this car is pretty fragile. And then... 
upon arrival here, I will end this episode. And we'll see what's fine. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one where we'll track down those final two Buzz Cola carrots and we'll start doing the races. Okay, see you then.